ways that I can select friends. Yeah. Also, power up is better. Yeah, of course he's better. He wants it. Thank you, Cameron. He also has sick combos. He does. He <laughs> is. I mean, so cool. He knows how to use the There's a chain and grab? Oh, maybe not. I thought Link might have had a chain grab when I did. Link does that. Ha Link does has have a chain like, grab on like practically everybody. Yeah, it's like the semi floaty ish characters uh -huh. are just like when you get them to a high enough percent to the heavier. Yeah, one. it should definitely work on Ivysaur. A pretty wide percent rate, I would imagine. Is it just with down throw? Yeah, just down throw. Oh, yeah. He can only grab you with the hand of his, uh, like, tether, though. So that's what makes it a little bit more difficult than you think to use. But mm -hmm. it's still pretty free when you do get it. <laughs> yeah, the thing I noticed about, uh, Captain Saturn, it probably helps through his melee background, but his neutral is really good. Yeah. He's really smart about, like, the way he plays the neutral. I don't know what drew him to Ivysaur in the first place. This seems like a really odd like, character to Yeah, so since I'm pretty sure he's a exactly. box player in Melee. Yeah. I don't know, Ivysaur. Oh! oh he comes into it! That'll do it. And that okay. killed. Yeah, this rolls out of there just in time. Oh, oh, double speed swap. Oh, he's already he got the beam another back. Beam. Oh he'll, wow, he'll that die really, really to that. Too, though. Yeah, I didn't think that's a pretty off. easy kill confirm that Link has on a lot of characters that he can like reliably chain grab. Just down throw him to down air. It kills so early. Yeah, it isn't. Isn't it like the game watch killer? Yeah, it's the game watch killer. It'll kill him at like 60, and the train grab last till 60. So it's. Uh... Oh, he did make it that time. I thought he missed oh. the EGT, but oh. I guess they're both dead. No, that's okay. Took the stock from him. Yeah, he still got worth. the beam. Too, yeah, he has so. the beam. This is gonna be. There's a lot of stuff that they'll have to do to pull this one back. Keeping it safe though in the back of the Zares. The, with proper spacing with the Zare, it actually will pull them in and do them stuff like up air. Yeah, the uh, the little grapple thing at the end will like pop them upwards uh -huh. and in a little bit. And you have to be at a very specific spacing for it because like there's another hitbox while the like grappling hook is extending. Oh, okay. will also like push them away. And he blows the solar. It burns the solar beam, beam, but going for a hard read. <laughs> and, oh, oh okay, <laughs> that was so quick. I, guess he, I think he got one of those on Aki. Uh, yeah. It's like the up air, like, the pen, the, the body hit them. I know he's definitely practiced that one a bit. He's gotten me with that, too. He knows the distance that you can up you with after an up air. Oh. I mean, he makes it straight out of there. Sweet spot up air. Oh, my wow. God. I get a feeling we're going to see it go to final destination. That's a guess, though. Uh, Unless he bans, bans it. it. Might. Hit Y. Okay, yeah. There we go. All right. Yeah, PS2. Yeah, we'll go for Death Beast. Why do I need ban PS2? I guess lower ceiling. Yeah. Somebody killed off the top. Like, you really down air. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's one of the main reasons why he does it. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's... Ivysaur's up air is a spike at the beginning and then like a meteor towards the later bits. Really? So it's not like, yeah, actually. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, but it's pretty precise to get it. That that was probably the meteor hit from that distance, but he had already burned his double jump. There wasn't much he was going to be able to do about it. Uh, it's a pretty solid gimp on a lot of characters. And you can see right there how pretty the chain grab is. Like, it's just kind of bear, no matter where you try to DI it. Ah. Got bombs. When my, when my friend plays Ivysaur, he'll use, like, uh, especially on, like, FD, where there's no platforms, he'll just, like, spam the down B with Ivysaur, like, the, the oh, yeah. seed bombs everywhere. It kind of doesn't actually cover all that much when you look at it. No, yeah, there's no double jumpy that there. There's a crust that a lot of Ivysaur players have when they're stuck on the ledge. Oh, this. is he going to? No. Yeah, it was a stale up B. There's no way he's going to be able to. <laughs> he just hits him while he's on the platform. He doesn't need that one. I don't, I don't think he knew he had the solar beam. Yeah, he's probably going for charge. When he crouch cancels, I think the bomb, and he makes it back just to down tilt in time. Oh, yeah. Nair into up tilt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and he has a big combo. Uh, Popped at the wrong direction. A little too high. Wait it out. Wow. Okay, Both these down characters love their projectiles. And up till it's an up D? No, not oh, quite. Yeah, he jumps top. straight up and doesn't get out of there. 
most times when you get stuck in that situation from a down B, like down B should never kill you. Bomb. Yeah, it's, you should, it's pretty uh, easy to like uh, trade with or not trade, but like like beat, beat it, it out, out or just jump out of the way in time. Range. So slowly. Yeah, that's not gonna work on that yeah. sure. There's no way I can get above the ledge like that. Or just like most tether characters will just like, you know, can tank low until it's done. Oh, catch this okay. is in your mouth. <laughs> yeah, that is good. not gonna work. No life back. Not quite. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, he's trying to get to the ledge, so man, I guess he's just frustrated that he can't get it. He's gonna keep on trying it. But oh well, that'll do it. Like, I think we can take one more loser smash before we still up. Unless the other guys are already playing. Mama and Soggy. Mama and Soggy are uh, playing. Mama's playing right now.